smells like orcs. Hey everybody, this is Josh here from MDT Chassis as well as Oryx Chassis. I'm a product designer. Uh, today we're out here, we're doing an unboxing video of the Oryx Chassis for a Savage Model 110 in this case. Uh, we're going to be taking it out of the box and then putting it together and going to shooting and show you how simple and how quick it is to get your rifle up and shooting. So our first step is to ensure that the action is uh, safe and unloaded. So we've removed the bolt, just going to do a quick check, make sure there's no ammo in the action it is ready to go. Our next step is going to be to install it into the chassis. So we have our chassis here that we just took out the box and it did come with the supplied action screws and in this case, uh, an action washer. So we're gonna take our barreled action, we're gonna align it with the inletting inside the chassis. Pretty straightforward there. Um, we're looking to line up the recoil lug on the action with the pocket in the chassis that's cut out for it. So just gonna drop that in place. I'm standing it up on its buttstock so that what happens is when it is installed into the inletting, it'll actually pull itself down and push that recoil lug against the pocket in the chassis right here. So a little bit of movement and we're gonna lock that down. We take the supplied action screws. We've got a shorter and a longer one. The shorter one is almost always gonna be your front action screw. Um, and if you have a, the same length action screws, they will, they'll be interchangeable. So in this case, our short action screw is our front. We're gonna install that like so. Okay, once I've got the action screw making contact with the action, I'm just gonna to go to snug. We're not gonna tighten it all the way up just yet. We're just gonna snug it up. And then we're gonna do the same with the rear action screw. So the action still has a little bit of movement back and forth. We're gonna push down on the barrel, forcing that recoil lug into the chassis. And the reason I'm doing this is that when you fire your first shot, the action doesn't want to move and it doesn't want to bounce. It's fully pressed up against the chassis. So your first shot should give you a good representation of where your next shot's also going to go. It's not going to be different shot to shot. So we're going to push that back into the recoil lug and then we're going to torque this one down. And then we're going to do the rear action screw. Torque that down. And just do a quick recheck. Torque. Now that's fully installed. Um, next thing I'm gonna do here is the sling swivel. We're gonna install uh, an accessory here, the sling swivel stud, so we can mount a bipod to this chassis. All right, now that we've got our sling swivel stud installed and our action installed, I'm gonna put a bipod on this rifle so that we can install the scope a little easier and that when we go to shoot groups in a sec here, we have a nice stable platform to shoot off of. So just a standard Harris 69 inch bipod. Now that's ready to roll. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do here is mount a scope to this rifle. So the first thing I'm gonna do, especially for a quick field mount like this, is I'm gonna level the rifle on the bipod, uh, just using a, any standard level here, making sure that that is sitting pretty much where I want it. And then we're gonna go ahead and install uh, the scope in our MDT Premier rings on top here, and then make sure that's leveled to the rifle as well. Cool, so we've got our rifle level. I'm gonna just drop the scope in its rings right now that we had previously mounted to another rifle. Install that onto this. So kind of like your barreled action, another quick tip here is when you install it onto the rifle, you wanna make sure that your scope is pushed forward as best you can. Um, what that's doing is it's engaging the lugs in the Picatinny rail so that as you slide the scope forward, Again, from shot to shot, from your first shot to second shot, it's not gonna to wanna to move or slide at all. You're positively engaging it up against the rail and torquing it down so that it's already resisting recoil on its first shot. All right, so now that we've got everything built, we've got the chassis installed, action screws torqued up to 60 inch pounds, sling swivel installed and a bipod on there, put our scope on, got that leveled out. Um, we're ready to fire. So our next steps now are gonna be a quick bore sight at 100 yards fire a couple groups, get some speed off of it, and then the rifle's ready, it's set up, it's all done. So from in the box to ready to shoot in about five minutes.
Now that we have everything bore sided, we went ahead and zeroed the rifle. So we shot out here at 100 yards, made some very coarse adjustments, uh, and then made, started making some fine adjustments when we figured out where we were. Um, got near some, some targets here on the paper, and then worked our way in and shot a nice little zero group. Uh, sitting a touch high, but probably sitting about half MOA. So again, from a factory rifle, uh, out of the box, dropped right into the Oryx chassis, ready to shoot. Can't get much better than that. Um, for field performance, it's more than you can ask for.